If you're looking for the best media player on the market right now that doesn't break your bank, this video is for you. Coming up next. Welcome to my channel everybody. If this is your first time here, I do audio demos, reviews, media tech, and home theater stuff. If you're into that, smash that subscribe button, tap that bell notification so you don't miss a beat. Today I'm going to do a walkthrough of the Amazon Fire Stick 4K. Okay, so here we are on the front page of the Amazon Fire Stick 4K. Uh, the layout is the same. It has not changed. Um, nothing up top here has changed neither. Okay, search is still the same. Um, keep going down find all the same stuff as you would on your uh, uh, previous fire stick so um, but as you can see this is snappier it works faster um, that is a a very good plus for these things I'm very impressed with the uh, new 4k fire stick Netflix and uh, <clears throat> the thing is pretty snappy as to uh, how it moves and displays and whatnot from section to section. I mean, it just comes up pretty fast. Nothing slow about it at all. I go into my internet TV here, which I use gears. Click into it. I mean, look how fast that thing is. That is faster than fast. Uh, on the last Fire Sticks I've been using, it's not even close that fast. Go into channels here. I mean, boom. Fast. I mean, it just, the sucker moves. I mean, I haven't seen anything like that. It goes that fast. Impressive. I don't know any more to say about it. I just this thing is just ultimately fast. The settings tab here, once again, uh, you have some new stuff. Um, you have here now where you have the uh, uh, equipment control where you can set up your equipment. You have live TV where you can do the uh, uh, new box that they have come out with the Fire Stick as well. Um, Bluetooth is still here for controllers. So if you want to use that handy uh, RII8, I believe it is, uh, let me know down in the comments what you guys use for a remote if you don't care for the uh, Amazon Fire Stick remote. You have your uh, My Fire Stick TV, <coughs> My Account, Help, and Accessibilities. Everything on here has pretty much stayed the same except for a few minor upgrades and stuff. Here are on the displays and sound section, and you have a choice for your screen servers, savers, I'm sorry, uh, your style, your speed, the time, the info, uh, shuffle, you can do all that. That, you have your display, and it gives you a whole bunch of options here where you can uh, do a card depth, uh, card format, cal uh, calibration display and your high dynamic range setting which you have an option to do always HDR or adaptive I usually keep it on adaptive and here it explains to you about what adaptive does and the HDR format <clears throat> we go to audio and you have it set for Adobe Digital Plus uh, navigation sounds too as you go up and down with the clicker. Uh, I'll cut, tap in here for a second. You have your stereo, Adobe Digital Plus, um, best available, or just simply just Adobe Digital. So I keep it on Adobe Digital Plus, that gives me the best audio from the box. Advanced audio, where you can do your uh, volume uh, leveler and dialogue enhancer which helps you 
uh, make out more of what the people are saying on your Netflix, Hulu, uh, music for Pandora, Spotify, whatever you uh, choose to listen to. Here we are with Alexa, and as you can see with you guys having the Echo Dots and all that stuff, um, and the second and third generations, uh, you can line it up with your Alexa app, which also can be set up through your uh, AV receiver through the uh, Denon and Marantz, and Yamaha, I believe, does it as well. Um, there may be other products out there that will uh, handle uh, Alexa integration. As you can see here on my Fire TV, uh, you are giving uh, 5.28 gigabytes uh, available space on here with all that uh, onboard OS from Amazon to start out. So that's pretty nice. You get a, a bump in there. Here on the equipment control, you have the option to uh, control your receiver, your TV, your projector, um, set top box, component, so forth and so forth. Uh, here's your magic equipment. As you can see, like I said before, TV, AV receiver, your fire TV, and uh, advanced settings where you can go in there and you can do a, a power timer, uh, the uh, power on and off for you can turn off your receiver or you can turn off your projector or your TV, however you want to do that. Uh, it also sets the volume control and the mute too, which is very nice for if you just have a regular TV. You can change the inputs on your receiver just using the fast forward button on the remote control for the fire stick. <clears throat> then you have your home button which is again can work with other receivers as well so with the newer receivers that are out there like the Marantz or Denon, Yamaha uh, so forth just to name a few um, that will be compatible with that my receiver is not really compatible for most of this stuff because it is a very older generation of Yamaha can add equipment and here it says cable satellite um, game console you have the PlayStation Xbox media player so if you want to do your Nvidia shield you can do that as well your Apple TV Roku DVD player blu-ray player and yes DVR so very 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 functional with a lot of stuff that you could have in your current home that uh, will uh, work with just this single remote control. You can set things to automatic or manual or turn them off. Live TV here, uh, you have a chance to uh, do a, a channel management. Uh, they do have what is called live TV uh, sources which is the uh, fire TV recast which um, you know it's for the US only as you can see but it's their version of the HD home run where you can do a DVR and all that with that too which is pretty nice and then you just hook up a regular uh, TV antenna to the box itself and uh, put it in your window or whatever you want how you ever you want to do it in the attic and run a cord all the way down to the box I hope you enjoyed today's video on the review of the Amazon Fire Stick 4K. Uh, excellent machine, super fast, one remote that pretty much does everything. Uh, well worth the money, run out, go get it. I don't think you can find anything else that's better for this price point. 49 bucks, what do you got to lose? So if you're happy with this review today, smash that like button share it, leave comments. Happy to answer all the comments you uh, uh, would like to leave. And remember, keep your eyes open, keep watching.